Welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? <laughs> Alright. 91 Mercury Capri Convertible. Today I'm going to show you how to do the rear brake pads. Um, this is like a continuation video uh, on a video we did on this. We just did the right rear hub assembly, the rotor, the studs, and all that. Check that video out. So half of, half of this part on this side is already taken apart. But um, doing the brakes is something different. All right. First thing we want to do is take off the cap to the master cylinder for the overflow fluid that we're about to have. You got this little boot down here. You just want to stick that boot back into place. Set this to the side. All right, I'm gonna show you about a special tool because these rear pistons don't push back, they twist back, exactly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and you have the tool to do that with. All right, let's get this set up. I got the car jacked up already. So as I said, it's a continuation video. Let's get this going. Okay, we're on the right side because I had to take this apart before, as I said, doing the hub and all. But what you're gonna do first, back here you got a 12 millimeter bolt. Take that 12 millimeter bolt out as much as possible. It's gonna hit the caliper, so it's not come out, gonna come out all the way. Once you get that out, flip the caliper up much as you can. You can see I propped it up over there with the brake hose. Not too much, right there. And we can take this, this one out from the used one we had, so we don't need this bolt in there no more. Now, as I said, these pistons, if you notice, you see how it looks in there? See those grooves right there? There's a reason for that, because those pistons twist in. They don't just push in like you usually would a c-clamp or something they twist in so what we got here we got us a disc brake caliper tool set OEM number 27 111 all right and when you open this set up It's got different adapters, and what you want to do is get one that would line up. It's too big. It's probably this one right here. See the little nipples on the top. You want to make sure those fit right inside there, just like that. That's great. All right, now that you saw that, get your butt back and watch me work. All right, so. Then you want to get the tool to do this. Put that tool on there. Put that piece on like that. So it's a very interesting tool. Now, you want to put that in there, but let's back that up because that's all the way up. So we're going to back that up. We're going to get that in there. And what you're doing is you're putting them two tabs inside that line up right with that piston inside there it's somewhere in there there we go once you get it lined up bring this nut back to put this piece up against the outside of the caliper and you want to keep that going backwards as you turn the this part the rod clockwise because what it's doing is it's pushing that is actually pushing that caliper in that piston in at the same time keeping pressure on it once you get it where it stops just like that just want to loosen up just a little bit it's good to have some kind of pliers or something okay then bring that in now you want to make sure that when you end up doing this if you look inside here you want to make sure those are lined up with the caliper just like that up and down you can see this one's off to the right a little bit so what I can do is just actually just take my tool put it in there and move it by hand and see that's perfect now we got that in there that's the only way you can use pliers I saw people do that with pliers and all that that's gonna work well all right, next what we're gonna do here is get our new brake pads. 
package right here. It's got them from Fisher Auto Parts, D366. Let's open those up and we'll be right back. All right, we got our brake pads opened up. And what you wanna do, there's got some anti seize in here, lubricant, to make sure those brake pads slide better. You wanna make sure you put that on, just a dab. And on the inside, only where the brake pad is going, nowhere else. All right. Now let's get our brake pads on. Be very careful. Gonna slide them into a groove right there, just like that. Let's get the other side. Now the other side is a little bit different. Let's see if we can get that lined up in there. Because let me show you on this old one here. Got this old caliper bracket here. The inside one will set into there, just like that. So you gotta remember that. All right, let me get up under there and make sure. You wanna make sure them things are set in. flush up against the rotor. Okay, good. Now that you got that, we're gonna slowly bring our caliper back down. Start the screw. And as I said, it's a 12 millimeter socket. Tighten that up. Make sure that caliper slides back and forth like that. All right, let's go get that tire and put it on. We'll be right back. All right, let's get our tire back on. Go to the other side. The lug nuts on this is 13 16 or better yet, get a 21. 21 is just a little bit bigger. It's a fraction bigger. And when you tighten it up, you want to go crossways. Okay, let's go on to the other side. Okay, let's get this tie off. Okay. Oh! The bolt on this was out. Oh man, what the heck? You can see the bolt on this was I mean I just took the tie off and the bolt is out how these brakes was working I have the faintest idea why that bolt is out I have the faintest idea somebody's lucky somebody's very lucky <laughs> And that piston is out there. Let's, you know, let's get that other bolt over there we have from the other side. Let's check to make sure this thing is still good. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, I just uh, got the bolt from the other side. Just, just wanted to see. And uh, I don't understand it. There's nothing wrong with this well look at this right here also look at that tab sticking out of there that's wrong you know that's a good thing we're doing this 
you can see that you see that right That's, that tab is supposed to be up under the brakes look somebody did brakes on this and I mean they like they just messed this thing up so let's let's pop this piece of the brake pad came off of here Yeah, this is gonna be fun. See if we can get this thing out of here. Wow, man. This... All right, let's get our out inside brake pad out. I mean, the brake pad on this is, is gone. There, there's no brake pad. I mean, check that out. There's no there's no brake pad on that thing. It's gone. It's just, it's just gone. What the heck? All right, let's get our let's get our brake tool so we can um bring that caliper bring that caliper in. We got our tool right here. Yeah, I figures you have to bring that down a little bit better. That piston looks like it's way out there too. You know, this is uh. up here oh man I thought that piston wasn't gonna turn back but uh there it is it's turning back this is very very dangerous, you know. Um, I don't know what happened here. Okay, let's go get some vice grips or something. Take that off, get a wrench, be right back. All right. Got that back. It's lined up. Let's go get our new uh, brake pads. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what I mean here. And you can even look at the old one. The old one still had a little brake brake pad left. There's the new one. That's how much brake pad that left. But this one right here, the brake pad actually came off. You know how this and that boat was how this car was stopping I have the faintest idea let's uh, get this lined up the way it's supposed to be you know this this is messed up all right that's one let's get the inboard in Two. Let's bring this back down. Now we're going to tighten this up like it's supposed to. Let's get our 12 millimeter. Tighten it up. We want to make sure that it does tighten it up and there's not, nothing wrong and it's uh, stripped out. Going. Yeah, it's, it's tightening up, I, so I, I don't understand why that bolt was like that. This caliper could be sliding a little better, but it ain't. You know, I'm gonna take this bolt back out because I need that caliper to slide, or this this is gonna have some serious issues with this brakes. So uh, let's uh, get that bolt back out of there and check that slider. Right back. All right, this uh, this slide is definitely rusted. You can see, no matter where I put it, that thing is messed up. It's starting to break free a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is keep doing this, and I'm gonna get some WD-40 and spray it up in there. All right, we'll be right back. 
All right, I took some WD-40 and I sprayed that up. And as you can see now, that slides just like it's supposed to. If it don't slide, you better make sure it does. Or you're gonna be looking at a big problem. Put some grease in there, like I did. Now let's get our 12 millimeter. Tighten this back up. This thing fought me from, from moment one. All right. See ya. Now your, make sure your caliper slides like that. All right. Let's get that tie back on and wrap this up. I'll be right back. Again, these are 21 millimeter, 13 16 so I prefer the 21. Look at this, look at this mess. That bearing's about to come out too. Let's get this thing back apart. Oh my goodness, man. Whoever did these brakes, man. Let's get this thing apart and find out what's going on. All right, I got the, the boot off. This nut, man, look at this. The bearing is, let's get us a pair. Let's take a look at this. See what's going on here. Okay. Now the other one, other side is reverse thread, but this one's the right kind of threading. bearings look okay we're gonna get some grease we're gonna put these bearings back in there and tighten that center nut up all right be right back all right let's put our tie back on if you want to know how to do the put, the put the bearings in and grease them up check out the other video on this car and that should explain everything now can we put these lugs on and stop being aggravated with this car. <laughs> All right, now let's tighten it up. As you can see, wheel's tight, spins freely. Now we're good. All right. Next thing we do, let's check this top off the master cylinder, put some fluid in there. Let's wrap this video up, all right? We'll be right back. All right, there you have it. How to change the brakes, the rear brakes on the 91 Mercury Capri. Look, check this out now. You saw how that rear bearing was and on brakes was. You know, you gotta stop with these um, mechanics that will only work on your car because they wanna make a quick buck. I'm not even going to say backyard mechanic or shade shoe mechanics because if you tr take pride in your work, you're going to do the job good no matter what. Whether you think it's professional, dealership, or whatever. A mechanic is a mechanic. If they take pride in their work, they're going to give you some good results. This wasn't taken care of. This could have caused an accident. It could have killed somebody. For what? For a few bucks? It ain't cool. So, you know, um, whoever you take your car to or if you're a mechanic out in the field, a shade tree, you know, if you take pride in your work, you ain't got no problems. But these other guys, you got to cut that out, right? People, you, you think you're saving a couple bucks, but you would have killed somebody with this car, then who who, who you saving? <laughs> really, you know, that, that pisses me off, man, to see something like that. That's, you know, because if she had a baby in the car, you know, what could have happened? Over a few bucks, you couldn't even put the bolt in, the caliper bolt, you couldn't even tighten the cal caliper bolt. Stupid. Repair shops, some repair shops do the same thing because they got all that overhead. They got to make that, got to make that, got to make that quota, got to make that quick buck to pay them bills. You know, and what happens? You slack up on your work. Cut that mess up. This is Timmy from Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Y'all take it easy.